Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these dies. I've got some leafy branchy dies, some whimsical circle dies, a fishtail stitched banner die and a so grateful sentiment die. And we're also going to talk about four ways to stick down your fiddly die cuts. So speaking of fiddly die cuts, I took my two leafy branchy dies and die cut two of each from smooth white cardstock. I taped down my dies to stop them slipping around and then ran them through my Gemini mini die cutting machine. Once those were die cut, I put them on my photopolymer grip mat to hold them still. I also put them back in the card that I die cut them from on my grip mat again to hold them still while I inked them up. You could ink the paper before you die cut it, but often I like to ink the paper after I've die cut it because you get a bit of a different effect. The die cut catches the ink in different ways and intensifies it in different areas. So I started with bundled sage, distress oxide, and a finger dauber and added some ink in a variegated way on two of my die cuts. Then I brought in some Lucky Clover and added a little bit here and there again to bring in some variation to make the die cuts have a natural feel. I then used Lucky Clover on the other two die cuts. I put down quite a generous application and then I used Evergreen Bow Distress Oxide to add another bit of variation onto the Lucky Clover die cuts. Next I brought in my DIY Shimmer Spray which has white shimmer in it and spritzed it on and then I dried them with my hair dryer and set them to one side. Off camera I die cut out my stitched fishtail banner from smooth white card and then I put it in a fern design embossing folder and ran that through my cuttle bug. I held the die cut down with some washi tape in the embossing folder so that I could get the pattern exactly how I wanted it. And then I wanted to die cut out my circles. Again, I'm using smooth white card and I've got some very pale ink here. This is spun sugar and to get any kind of intensity I find it's easier to just smush the ink pad down onto card and swipe it around. I wasn't looking for a perfect blend. I like the variation you get when you do this smush slash swipe with the ink pad. I then washi taped my dies to that square of pinky paper and ran that through my Gemini Mini again. I did that a couple of times because not everything cut brilliantly first time, but we got there in the end. A top tip when dealing with fiddly die cuts like this is to very carefully, slowly, gently remove them from the dies. You don't want to rip your die cut, but also if you have quite thin pieces in your die cut, you can actually stretch the paper and bend it and warp it if you pull the die cuts out of the dies too roughly. So here all I'm doing is poking my tweezers through the little holes in the dies to pop the dies out a little bit and then I run my tweezers between the die cut and the die very slowly and gently to ease the die cut out of the die. So here's the first way of adding glue to fiddly delicate die cuts. I've popped some high tack PVA glue on my glass mat and I've got a dedicated sponge dauber that I've dipped in the glue and then used that to daub glue on the back of the die cuts. I used to wash out my sponge dauber every time I used it but once I didn't and then I discovered that I didn't need to because it works just as well all gummy with glue as it does not gummy with glue. So I just pick up a little bit of glue with the dauber, daub it on the die cuts and then place them where I want them, press them down with a bit of non-stick paper. This just picks up any glue that might have oozed out of the side but it also stops me getting mucky fingerprints all over my die cuts and my card panels. 
So for this card, I put my fiddly circle die cuts over to the right hand side towards the top and then cut off the overhang and waste not want not, I decided to stick the leftover bits in the bottom left hand. So I've got a diagonal design happening. To stick my banner down, I used some thin craft foam and I just cut it out with my scissors. It wasn't being particularly accurate because this isn't a fiddly die cut. So what methods do you use for sticking down fiddly die cuts? Do let us know in the comments so that we can all pick up as many ideas as possible. Next I wanted to add on my leafy branchy bits so I trimmed them down to an appropriate size and for two of them I added glue using the sponge dauber again but for the other two I did my other trick and that is dipping in glue so you can see that I've smeared some of my glue on the glass mat in the process of using my sponge dauber and what you can do when you've got glue smeared on your mat is you can just lay your die cuts in, tamp them down with a pair of tweezers or a pokey tool, pick them up and they will have glue on the back. If you find you get too much glue on the back, just dab it off on a bit of paper towel or on your palette, or your glass mat, what have you, and then put your die cut on your card. And you should find you don't get any splurging out the side. And so that's how I added my darker green leafy bits by dipping them in glue. For my sentiment, I decided to die cut this So Grateful out of gold glitter cardstock. But before I did the die cutting, I stuck the card down to some double sided adhesive. Then I ran it through my die cutting machine. And then I pulled out all the little bits from the letters removed the release paper and stuck it on the front of my card. This die cut isn't particularly fiddly, but this is another way of adding fiddly die cuts. Stick the card to the double-sided adhesive, then die cut it, pull off the release paper, and then you can stick it on your card. Something to note though, is that with the nature of die cutting, you often get fiddly die cuts that aren't flat on the back side. The process kind of bevels them or domes them. And so if you've got a very fiddly die cut with very thin bits, even if you die cut with double sided adhesive already on the card, sometimes those fiddly bits won't actually have much contact with the card because they're almost arched or bowed. So it's worth experimenting. My fourth and final way of adding fiddly things is to use a fine tipped glue bottle. I just happen to have matte gel medium in this fine tipped glue bottle. It flows out nicely. Thicker glues might struggle to come out of a fine tipped nozzle. But again, experiment, see what works for you and your glue. And on this card, I used it to stick down some small gold glitter card circles. Sometimes I put a little dot of glue on the card and then stick the circle on top. Sometimes I put the dot of glue on the back of the circle and then stick it to the card. And that's this card finished. I hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas of ways you can stick die cuts down to your cards. If you have enjoyed the video, please do let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell, give us a thumbs up and I will see you back here very soon for another clean and simple card making video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.